Hello everyone, I got a request to make a video on circular measure which is basically radian measure or you can say radian mode. So in today's video we are going to see what is radian measure and how to convert radian measure to degree measure or degree measure to radian measure. Let's get started. Circular measure or you can say that radian measure. First we will see that what is radian measure? What is the relation between the radian measure and the degree measure? If you can see the circle here, this is the center of the circle and this is the radius r and this one is the circumference of your circle. If I take any point on the circumference of the circle, then if I join this one, this is your arc length of the circle. If I join this point with the center of the circle, this will become one sector for you. If I measure the arc length in such a way that that is equals to the radius of circle R. That means this is R, this is also R and my arc length is also R. In that case, the angle measured here in the sector will be one radian. If I double this arc length, that means this is 2R, this will be R and this will be again R. My arc length is double than before. That means the angle subtained in the sector here will be 2 radian. This C will show you the radian measure. If I triple the arc length, that means my arc length is 3R. This one is R. This one is also R. In that case, the angle subtained at the center of the sector will be 3 radian. If I move my arc length to the semicircle, we know that the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. If I have to calculate my half of the circle, that means circumference of the circle will be divided by 2. So 2 got cancelled with 2 and your answer is pi r. That means if semicircle is there, that means my arc length is pi r. So my angle subtained at the center will be pi radian. What you are seeing from here, if r the coefficient here is 1 so angle subtained here is 1 radian if the coefficient here is 2 the angle subtained here is 2 radian if the coefficient here is 3 that means the angle subtained here is 3 radian similarly if the coefficient here is pi the angle subtained here is pi radian we know that this is our straight angle also. Straight angle is also equal to 180 degree. That means I can compare both of them. Both of them should be equal. Both are straight angles. So pi radian, this radian must be equal to 180 degree. This is the relation between degree measure and the radian measure. This we are going to use to solve our question. Let's see one example. Convert the following angles to radian. Leave your answer in terms of pi. You have to convert 240 degree into radian measure. So we have to convert it into radian measure. So radian measure should be written on the right hand side. So 180 degree is equal to pi radian. Now I need to calculate for 1 degree. 1 degree is equal to pi radian over 180 degree. Now most of the students are get confused that why we are dividing here. As we know from here 180 degree to 1. How you are going to move from 180 degree to 1? You have to divide it by 180 degree. So we need to do the division of 180 degree then only we are going to reach to 1. The same operation we will do it on right hand side also. We will divide 180 degree. I need to calculate for 240 degree. Let's write down 240 degree. So 240 degree will be equal to pi radian over 180 degree multiplied by 240 degree. Now why did I multiply this here? Because from 1 radian to 240 degree how you are going to move? You have to multiply that with 240 degree. I will multiply this with 240 degree. Same operation I have to do it on right hand side also. It will be multiplied by 240 degree. That's why I did the multiplication. Now I need to solve that. Let's cancel 0 from 0. If I apply the 6 times table, this will be 3 and this will be 4. My answer will be 4 by 3 pi radian. Let's see one more example. I need to convert 330 degree into radian measure. So 180 degree is equal to pi radian. I'll find out first the answer for 1 degree. 1 degree will be equal to pi radian over 180 degree. I need to calculate it for 330 degree. 330 degree will be equal to pi radian over 180 degree multiplied by 330 degree. 
I need to solve that. 0 got cancelled from 0. If I divide it with 3, this will be 6 and this will be 11 here. My answer will be equal to 11 over 6 pi radian. This will be my answer. Let's see one more example. Convert the following angles to degrees. I need to convert 2 pi by 3 radian into degree measure. Because I need to convert it into degree, degree should be written on the right hand side. Pi radian is equal to 180 degree. First, I will find out the answer for 1 radian. How you are going to change from pi radian to 1 radian? You will divide it by pi radian. So the same operation I will do it on right hand side also divided by pi radian. 180 degree divided by pi. I need to calculate the answer for 2 pi by 3 radian. 2 pi by 3 radian. How you are going to change from 1 to 2 pi by 3 radian? You will multiply that with 2 pi by 3 radian. The same operation I will do it on right hand side also multiplied by 2 pi by 3 radian. 180 degree divided by pi radian multiplied by 2 pi by 3 radian. From here, I need to simplify that pi radian got cancelled with pi radian. If I cancel it with 3, this will be cancelled with 60 here. My answer is 60 times 2, which is equals to 120 degree. Let's see one more example. You need to convert 5 pi by 6 radian into degree measure. Pi radian is equal to 180 degree. First, I'll calculate the answer for 1 radian. 1 radian will be given by 180 degree over pi radian. I need to calculate it for 5 pi by 6 radian, which will be given by 180 degree over pi radian multiplied by 5 pi pi by 6 radian. I need to solve that pi radian got cancelled with pi radian. If I cancel it with 6 with 180 degree, this, so it will be 30. My answer will be 30 times 5 which is equals to 150 degree. 5 pi by 6 radian is equal to 150 degree. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye bye everyone.